It's mean, it's lean, it's a Kiwitz machine, HT208D clamp meter. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Hey, welcome back everybody. Final edition of the Kiwi's Extravaganza. Yes, what a week this has been. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Last but not least, the Pièce de Résistance and the Kiwi's Clamp Department, the 208D. This is one sweet looking clamp meter. And once again, check out the case that this Kiwi's ships in. As I mentioned before, the cases are phenomenal. These things are built to last, and I mean, they are built so well, it just boggles my mind. I mean, wow, how often do you get a clamp with a case like this? Unbelievable. And once again, we have that amazing storage compartment, that nice mesh inlay. Oh gosh, they have done such an incredible job with their cases. Kiwi's, keep up the good work. Kiwi's gives us some really nice uh, leads with this. Oh, oh, oh. The two weight ships with some really nice leads as well. 10 amp, uh, Cat 2 1000 volts, silicon, silicon, yes. And they are long, gorgeous, gorgeous. So uh, already off to a really nice start. Also get that nice thermocouple because of course, of course, Kiwi's does temperature. Man, amazing. And of <clears throat> and a really nice little manual here, the 2OID user manual, TrueMS clamp meter. Lots of interesting information. Talks about the high impedance, the low impedance, uh, advanced functions, AC current measurement, inrush function. Yeah, they have not missed a thing. And look at that. Check it out. Three year warranty. So Kaiweets is putting their money where their mouth is. Good job. I said it once, I said it again, you want a chance to win this gorgeous clamp meter? Well, of course you do. It's really, really easy. Simply like, subscribe, and leave a comment. That's it, that's all. And you can win this beautiful 208D. And don't forget, even if you don't win a beautiful one like this, hey, no worries. Use this coupon code below and you will save some money on the Kiwi's website. They have a ton of stuff, lots of electronic components, instruments, what have you. Um, some really nice deals going on right now as well. So check it out, kiwi's.com. Use the coupon code below and have fun. You can see that this Kiwi's clamp is quite a bit bigger than the 2060. So the 208 has definitely got some robustness to it. Very oomphy in size. And you know what? It's a heavy meter. And heaviness usually is a good indication of quality as well. So that's probably a good thing. Now, it's not too heavy to carry around. Don't worry about that. It doesn't weigh like 30 pounds or anything. But it's definitely a solid feeling meter. And man, what a nice meter to hold in the hand. Uh, that rubberized, texturized... Uh, outer shell is amazing um you can pretty well i swear this is almost like getting a hand massage it just feels so nice so i'm pretty sure this is going to clean up really well if it gets dirty greasy what have you um wash and wear baby that's all that this meter so is going to do very nice um yeah it's a clamp meter and chances are you're going to probably use the clamp more often than the rest of it but necessarily maybe not so Always nice to have this. Always nice to be able to carry those probes like that. And you know what? You can pack it up, throw it in the case with your probes attached so you're ready for action. Unfortunately, one glaring omission is those IMPA jacks. Yes, they're not color coded properly. They're both red, but there is a common. So one black, one red is what we should be seeing. Yeah, Kawits, let's fix that in the future, please. We have three labels of conformity, the 1010, the 1010-2, uh, and the 1010-2032. Um, Good to see. Now, we don't have any third-party certification once again, so no Intertech or uh, what have you. We have strictly that CE logo. Be amazing to get a, uh, a third-party certification on this as well. Um, yeah, but, uh, well, there you go. I just have to close up for this display. I mean, look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely the nicest display I've seen on a clamp yet at any price. Um, just got to go through some of these. I mean, just incredible, beautiful. Oh, so easy on the eyes. Wow. And it has an awesome, awesome uh, graph bar as well, which will uh, take a bit 
a little look at later, but I mean, just generally speaking, they have done an amazing job with that display. Oh, take a closer look at that selector switch starting at the 12 o'clock or off position. 1000 amps maximum AC DC. 60 to 600 amps AC DC. AC DC volts plus variable frequency drive filtering. Frequency and duty cycle. Resistance, continuity, diode, and capacitance. Dual temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit. ACDC, voltage, including low Z. Finally, non-contact voltage and live detect. We have one main function selector, range switch, max min, and a relative slash zero. On the side of the meter, we have a one-touch hold and flashlight. And at the top of the meter, we have that one LED for NCV as well as continuity. Already have the Metatoyos out. Let's take a look at that jaw size. 41.6 millimeters, good size opening there. Excellent. On the jaws as well, we have markings, maximum 1000 amps, 600 volts cat four, 1000 volts cat three. Let's not forget about that trigger action. Oh yes, very nice, firm and oh, Beauty, beauty, beauty. Flashlight as well, right in the middle of those clamp jaws, so it's gonna come in handy uh, when you're in the uh, darkness or whatever, need extra light. Um, only thing with this flashlight though, that meter must be turned on, so if you just try to hit the flashlight with it, the off position in the selector, it won't work. So you gotta turn it on, then hit your flashlight, and away you go. So an interesting caveat with this multimeter, you're actually getting two voltage uh, ranges. You're getting the VFD here at the top, AC-DC, and at the bottom, you're getting your low-Z AC-DC voltage. So in this case, it doesn't matter because we're just looking at DC volts, VFD or the low-Z setting, they both will give you the same result. And that result is 5.004 volts on the 5.000 precision, precision voltage standard. Now let's put it up to the 10 volt and see how close we are. Moving over to Mr. 10 and we've got 10.01 volts. Oh, 10.0, oh, beauty. That's what I like to see. Have the temperature mode where it is an ambient sensor and uh, we have that nice big dual display 74 degrees Fahrenheit, 23 degrees Celsius. And I've got that little 902C temperature meter out coming up as 18.5. I'll try the same thing with the Fluke and we're coming up as 19.2. So yeah, honestly, it looks like the 902C is a little bit closer. And even with that thermocouple attachment, it's still close to 23, 22.6. So it seems to be a little bit high in the uh, temperature reading arena. And if I bring in another opinion, yeah, once again, it still is uh, closer for the 902C. So temperature definitely a little on the high side on the 208. I just couldn't resist. So I've taken out the Sanwa clamp and I'm gonna put it up against a three-way here between the two Kaiweets and the Sanwa for a DC voltage showdown. Should be fun. Oh, by the way, look at that display. What a difference. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, night and day. Okay, sitting at one volts right now with the Kaiweets power supply. 1.00 for the 206 1.00 again for the 208 and 1.00 for the Sanwa. So they're all pretty well neck and neck. Okay, here we are sitting now at 11.76 volts. 11.76 for both of the Kaiweets. 11.74 for Mr. Sanwa. Up, up and away. 15.24 volts. 15.23 for the, oh, look at that boy, neck and neck for those Kaiweets. And 15.21 for Mr. Sanwa. Okay, let's max it out. 30.82 volts for the Kaiweets power supply, showing up as 30.79 and 30.79 again for the Kaiweets. Wow, I'm telling you, birds of a feather. And 30.75, pretty well uh, the same reading for the Sanwa. Oh man, that was good. But I will definitely give this to both of the Kaiweets because you guys were like, Brothers, man, good job. Okay, we're looking at milliamps right now, DC milliamps, 
and uh, 18 milliamps is where we're at and we're around 16 15 to 16 all right so let's take it down let's go down to 14.2 milliamps coming up as oh 14 14 15 ish take it down a little bit further 12.2 milliamps so we're losing a little bit of that accuracy let's just take it down to 10 milliamps and see how it does so 10 milliamps I'm gonna take a little minute here to settle yeah so we're definitely losing some of that accuracy at this level let's bring it back up let's go back to 13 milliamps so yeah 13 so below 13 milliamps seems to be a little bit flaky um hey 13 milliamps with a clamp dc i'm not complaining okay looking at low volts right now sitting at five volts coming up is 5.049 on the 208d let's bring it down four volts looking good and three volts beauty let's go all the way down to one volt one volt and coming up is 1.022 volts nice let's try 600 millivolts oh no worries 500 oh yeah we're there we're in millivolt range 300 millivolts hey beauty 200 millivolts 100 millivolts oh yeah not bad all right quick look at resistance let's see how fast or not so fast the kiwi's clamp is right now we're at one mega ohm let's take it up to three mega ohm 3.1 mega ohm oh definitely not fast it is on the slow side 3.3 mega ohm hmm 3.6 mega ohm yeah so boy that ranging speed is a little bit slow uh let's try 2.2 mega ohm 2.22 mega ohm 2.222 okay so definitely not the fastest in resistance hmm in the accuracy department not so shabby 99.9 .9 ohm yeah next up we're going to be taking a look at ac current measurement with the inrush function another nifty feature with the 208d basically the inrush is the instantaneous high input current draw by any sort of power supply uh, when the uh, system is initially initialized or booted up so let's take a look. I'm going to take this out to the garage, stick it into the charger, and uh, see how much my uh, EV current draw is. Should be interesting. Here we go. By the way, to get into this function, super simple. You just hit that function switch, get you into AC, and hit it again and again, and bada boom, bada bing. There we are. Auto in rush. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, late night in the garage with me and my Mach E. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm about to plug it in to charge it. We're going to take a look at that uh, inrush current, basically startup current. Uh, see how much juice this uh, Mustang pulls uh, when it initializes. Here we go. Okay, so we have it hooked up to that Ford charger right now. This is just your standard uh, charging module, not a fast charger, nothing like that. Okay, we are going to engage the Mustang. And bada boom, bada bing, there is our inrush current 10.6 amps so start up it's pulling about just over uh, 10 and a half amps on start all right and here we are right now pulling in about 11 and a half amps so the uh, startup was actually lower than the uh, constant current draw 11 and a half amps to charge that mach -E. good thing it's almost close to 100 percent right now we are in ac volts mode actually we're not just in ac volts but we're also in ac low z mode uh low impedance mode it's uh, a way to get rid of those phantom voltage readings or, or ghost volt voltage it's sometimes referred and to of course we have that frequency readout as well unlike the uh, 206 d you have to go to a separate uh selector but here on the 208 it is right there on that nice dual display beauty and good god look at this yes even my my a touch from my body the electricity running through me activates that ncv mode wow this thing is going to be sensitive wow i'm not even on the wall 
<laughs> this is one sensitive meter. Oh my God. All right, mains panel, here we go. So really, it is detecting every single wire. Yeah. Wow, so this is one sensitive uh, tester when it comes to NCV. Good heavens. Alrighty, it's continuity time. You know I love this time. Here we are, stock default test leads, three, two, one. Oh, it's loud, it's latched. Not too shabby, it is missing the odd one though. Hmm, let's try the Pro Masters. Pro Masters. Oh yeah. Like butter, baby, like butter. Beauty. And loud, that was pretty loud. Seventy-six decibels, maximum output volume in continuity. I told you it was loud. I told you. Diode mode is next. Here we go. Let's start off with the standard diode. Do we have that nice audible beep? Oh, we do. We do. Now let me short the leads. Oh, okay. We don't have that nice continuous beep when they're shorted. That's too bad. But nonetheless, we have an audible beep. Okay, here we go. Off to the red LED. Yes, it is lit with a forward voltage drop. Over to the yellow. Yes. Over to the green, beauty. The blue and the white, oh, beautiful. So there we go, five for five. Illumination at forward voltage drop, excellent. 3.2 volts, maximum output voltage in diode mode. Well, I gotta say thus far, I am really impressed with this clamp. Oh man, it does it all. And it does it really well. Okay, let's take it apart and see what's on the inside. No shielding. Oh, well. Kind of knew that was coming. Um, I gotta say, though, nice quality plastics. All in all, really good uh, quality here. Look at that. Very nice let's molding. Let's start off with those input jacks. They are soldered in there. They are of the split type. And, you know, the soldering job is actually okay. But, uh, you know, not the greatest. So I would have liked to have seen bigger blobs going on. I mean, yeah, I know it's a clamp and it's not going to get as much use as the standard multimeter but still like to see those inputs um soldered on really really well but i mean all things considered it's it's, it's a okay. high powered resistor and two ptcs no mobs though no mobs oh goodness gracious well hopefully we're not gonna get any major transients happening on but uh yeah mob would have been uh, another bonus um we have a transistor clamp over there and over here is the main ic which is cop now beside that we do have our eep rom the t24c08a which leads me to believe it might be uh dream tech dtm0660 hiding underneath all that resin Moving further down the line, here is our main LCD display driver, the TM1622 from Shenzhen 10 Titan Micro. That, my friends, is an op amp. That's the GS8552. Um, it's an op amp with an RF filter. So that is what is magnifying or amplifying the signals from the current jaw. Also, I don't know if you can see, they're sort of hidden in there, but we have two trim pots, a VR1, VR2. So apparently you can adjust your voltage. Interesting. Over at the top here, we have a linear voltage regulator and hidden beside that is the well for that trigger. Uh, it has a steel sort of spring, um, but also a little plastic mechanism. Now, I don't think there's actually any force being pushed on that plastic retainer. Um, it's more of a holding. So I think that should be okay in the long run. No complaints here, super clean board. Everything looks really good. Probably would have liked to have seen a little more solder on those input jacks, a little bit better retaining, but hey, that's pretty well it. Gonna put it back together now, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Kaiweeds HT208D. Wow, wow, wow. I'm almost speechless, if you can believe that. This meter definitely impressed. You know, I think it compares well to a fluke for a fraction of the price. Now, if you watch this channel long enough, and I've been doing this for a while, almost five years now, believe you me, I don't just give praise where praise isn't due. And in this case, 100% Kaiweeds, you did an amazing job on this clamp. It has that beautiful LCD EBTN display with color. And I'm telling you, this thing's absolutely gorgeous. Man, oh man, even outside, contrast was still excellent and all around 
great performer indoors or out. The selector switch is big, it's bold, and man, it's beautiful. Easy to move, has that really good solid tactile feel about it, and this it just makes the meter itself work that much better. Bang for buck, this thing is really hard to beat. In rush current, low Z, VFD, the list goes on up to 1000 amps. Holy moly cannoli. I really wish those inputs were colored coded though, and man, that input protection should just be a little bit better. But at the end of the day, all things considered, this is an incredible value. And I think it's probably one of the best clamps on the market at any price range today. The Kiwis HT208D gets a solid 4.5 out of five stars. Yeah, that's right. I sure hope you enjoyed this Kiwi's Extravaganza Week. Man, oh man, what a ton of fun it has been bringing these great instruments to you guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and you can win Kiwi's Clamp. That's right, I'm giving away one of these 208Ds to a lucky winner. And also KM601. Whoa! Party! Draw will be in the next few days. Stay tuned for that. Once again, had a blast, everybody. Obviously, Kiwi's has really stepped up their game as of late. They're making some amazing instruments. I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a paid promotion. I get squat. What I do get is the pleasure of showing you guys the latest and greatest from Kiwi's. I'm telling you, they're doing some really good work. Hope you enjoyed this extravaganza week. Till the next one, keep on testing.